The United Arab Emirates and the State of Israel. I welcome this exciting opportunity to see this beautiful land, to get to know the Emirati people, and above all, to meet His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, and the admired ruler of the United Arab Emirates. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Expo 2020 Dubai is a huge achievement for all of you and also a huge achievement for Dubai itself and its ruler, Sheikh Muhammad bin Rashid Al Maktoum. It is a remarkable celebration of each nation's unique identity. It is also a reminder of what can be accomplished when we work together to break down borders by connecting minds and imagining a different future. As President of the State of Israel, I am proud of Israel's contribution to the vision of a common future, as we have seen on display over the past several months here, and in Israel, where I had the honor to inaugurate the United Arab Emirates Embassy in Tel Aviv under the leadership of your excellent Ambassador Muhammad al Khadja. Israel is a modern day miracle, an ancient homeland reborn as the home of cutting edge innovation. It is a country in which obstacles become opportunities and where the impossible is a tantalizing challenge. This pavilion has provided a phenomenal taste of what we have to offer, from water tech and sustainable agriculture to public health to smart cities and groundbreaking solutions for a circular economy. It has also been a stage for a beautiful mosaic of culture, faith, music, and arts that make up Israel's vibrant society. And it has been a practical display of cooperation between nations of the future we can all imagine. And this imagination turns into reality right here when the United Arab Emirates and its leaders daringly signed the historic Abraham Accords, as you rightfully mentioned. This was a decision not only to normalize ties, but to shape a new tomorrow for the next generation of both our nations and the entire region. It is a short time since the Accords were announced, and already our trade has exceeded over $1 billion. More than 120 agreements were signed, and a $100 million R&D fund was established just very recently. Israelis and Emiratis are studying together, learning each other's cultures and languages. 250,000 Israelis already visited the Emirates, and we await many Emiratis to visit Israel following COVID. Part of the novelty of the United Arab Emirates is the combination of an innovative spirit and forward thinking approach with deep respect for the glorious Muslim tradition. We, the people of Israel, as children of the same Abraham, share your high regard for religious faith bound in ingenuity. We admire the course you have charted. Dear friends, I hope and I believe that more and more nations will soon follow the UAE lead and join the Abraham Accords. The State of Israel is eager to walk with the UAE and all the nations here at Expo, El Hamachal, Nahwa El Rad, towards a brighter, more sustainable, and more peaceful tomorrow for our nations, our region, and the entire world. Barakalak fikum wa watal umrikum. Shukran jazilan. Thank you all very, very much, and shalom.
Israel has much to offer on our global platform. And so we are pleased to have your active engagement with us at Expo 2020 Dubai. We are so proud to host the first World Expo to be held in the Middle East, Africa, and South Asia region and offer a warm Emirati welcome to the whole of the world. The participation of 192 countries is a testament to the UAE's effort in bringing the world together into one unified platform in a bid, in a bid to build bridges engage in constructive dialogue and develop sustainable solutions to modern day challenges. We strongly believe that what unites humanity far outweighs what divides it. Let's go to a world of equal opportunities for all people. A world of diversity and cultural richness. A world of meaningful, beautiful, wonderful ingenuity.